Hey guys, welcome back to another Mods in the Jiffy. Today we're going over a simple reactor. This is from the Big Reactors mod. This one's not that quite simple. I just want to show you some of the stuff that we're going to need and what it could possibly do. Right now we're running with a very stable. This is a 7x7. It is uh, cooled with liquid endurium with uh, diamond blocks to block the radioactivity and to give it a little more uh, oomph. This is 5 blocks, 5 control rods all the way down to the bottom and it fills it with 90% uh, it's 99% fuel full up because I've been stuck a uh, yellow radium block in there and it fills it up and we're sticking right about a stable heat at 1200 putting around 13,000 flux per tick very simple block that will allow you to get a lot of uh, a lot of what you need so here I'm going to show you how to set up a basic one so what you're going to need is a wrapped case and we'll do a 3x3 three there we go. We'll stick place right here, and then the corners they need to be. Um, we'll do three. We'll do uh, four on the corners. This could be any different size. Stick this up like this, and connect them up. And then you're gonna want your uh, controller rod. So let's grab a control rod. Grab the control rod. Stick it right there. And then stick down. Uh, some of these, we'll grab it and we'll move from the like endarium. Sit down a yellow fuel rod, and then we're gonna need an access port, two of them, one for input and one for output. You're gonna want a way to tap it, so we're gonna use a reactor power tap, and we're gonna need a controller, and then we just stick this glass on the outside and it'll turn into reactor. You saw it made a connected texture sticking it into a reactor so with these slots that you have let's remove this you can see the power comes out here this is where you want to stick your uh, red ducts here's going to be input you're going to want this is set to input right now with input items we'll set this one to output this will output the waste which is uh, turns into cyanide ingots and with these cyanide ingots, you can turn them into cyanide blocks, or you can smelt them, turn them into uh, cyanide or plutonium. And you could also, I'm sorry, not plutonium, you could smelt them into cyanide ingots. And with these, you can stick uh, inside the cyanide reprocessor. And with the cyanide reprocessor, you take it and you, you stick what you want is cyanide ingots, you stick them inside here. A little bit of water. We'll grab a little bit of water, and we'll just fill that up. There we go. And then we have water. Grab a cell. These take very. You use like a basic leadstone cell, and then power any 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 sort of power will power this up. Just as you can see, we we'll only need to set it to where it inputs. Let's just do it up here top because it's easier. There we go. You can see it's getting power, filling up, and it's processing the cyanide into plutonium. And with plutonium, we can use and make another block and stick inside the reactor, power it up. You could also set these uh, this to like take input from the right and then set an output back into the reactor and in the input port. So it just continuously cycles from yellow room, yellow room until plutonium and keep you nice and full so if we were to take this we could take this right now this plutonium and stick it inside the reactor casing and this this is the input as I showed you guys this is input so, oop, close that and move that out of my hand so we can actually click it as we see it is uh, has a redstone port and it is full up so all we do is activate the reactor and let's just grab a basic cell, stick it right here. This will keep it power as it was empty. Now let's just grab another cell so I can show you guys. Let's grab a blank cell, harden under your cell. There we go. We stick it right there, and you see it is powering it up with a lot of power. This basic three by three reactor with no cooling output 765 tick, 675 RF a tick, which is just absolutely amazing for something that requires no no cooling or 
anything. It's just one simple reactor rod, and it'll output 600 a tick. And these blocks, they're not that hard to make. Like the reactor casing, if we look at the, the, the recipe, uh, we're going to need a chest real quick. Go a chest, because sometimes they just don't want you to look at them through the one way. So grab a chest. And of course, we have to redo that because I threw it on the ground because it didn't want to grab the thing. So we take this, stick the reactor casing in here. We'll stick all these blocks so I can show you. So reactor casing is just some graphite bars and some yellow iridium, which you could just get by just grinding ore or sending it into a furnace. We'll get yellow iridium. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. But then you're also going to need a pitch blade or raw uranium. Both ways you can just do it. Very simple. And the graphite bars is just smelting graphite dust or coal. Graphite dust is very simple. It's just a graphite bar. And that will allow you to get the casing. And for the reactor control rod, you're just going to need some the uranium and the, the casings. The regular redstone port you're gonna need some just some blocks some more casings some gold power tap redstone casing access port chest piston and some more casing we're just missing one of these items let's see where is it this I'll show you the controller the recipe for the controller diamond raw uranium and the reactor casing so it's very very simple and easy to make if we were to look at the reprocessor right here it's very simple one year yellow rim fuel rod some reactor casings and this fuel rod is just created using graphite bars uranium and iron very simple and easy to do and so you can input and output just using uh, like item ducts uh, of any mod Pretty sure this this thing has cross compatibility with any mod you really play with. So this is output. You can just do like this, and this will output. If we do eject waste, and it hasn't really many waste, but it'll come down into. We grab a crescent hammer. There we go. This will output any. Uh, cyanide that we get and the cyanide will process into plutonium and we can take this and send this out we just do this we'll snake it across Oop, wrong way uh, let's do oops did not mean to do that just grab one more so stick that back here and you can say you want uh, input to go here you can send the the plutonium ingots into the reactor and it would power it up and have no trouble keeping up. Right now, as you see, it is already using some of the, the plutonium. And it's down, it uses a little, little bit less. You only get a little less with the plutonium. But it still will allow you with constant production without having to go out and mine. And uh, once that's wasted, you know you should already have some more uh, uranium or yellow right to process in the control reactor. So I hope this basic setup gives you an idea of what you're going to need. There's some other other different blocks that would get you um, pretty much the same, like a graphite block. And um, there's different types of, like, the graphite block. We stuck that between here. And let's just break these so I can show you. Remember, we're getting 13,000. And then let's just grab some glass. Fix this up. There we go. Now it's active again. And if we just go over here. And we see it is powered up. Activate the reactor. It is producing with the thing 12.9. We're at 13. 13.5. 13.6. So it changes a little bit. We were at 13.3. Um, if I just fix this real quick. And oops, that's not what I meant to grab. Go like that. Now let's look at it. We to activate it. We should see it should be a little, little bit higher, I think. So 
and 0.6. So active, it, these act as like a radioactive bouncer. So if you guys want to set up some of these basic reactors, it helps you reactivity. If it shows you how much, the higher the reactivity, the less you're gonna get out of your reactor. And um, some, some quick tip before we go, it shows you right here how much capacity you have, how much waste is being output, and it's uh, how full it is, and the casing heat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this small tutorial on mods in the Jiffy, and see you guys next time.